Welcome to technical drawing. Today we are going to draw auxiliary top view of this sum. The quick question is draw the auxiliary top view of a cylinder of base diameter 42 mm and axis height 60 mm with its axis inclined at 45 degree to HP and parallel to VP. So in this case first we will draw given two views that is top view and front view and we will draw X1 Y1 which is inclined at 45 degree. So first we will draw front view top view and we will draw generators. See this. This is diameter 42, height is 60, this is front view, top view. Now I am dividing circle into 8 parts. Now what I am assuming if diameter is less than 50 then I will divide into 8 parts if it is more than 50 then I will divide into 12 parts that would be easier for drawing otherwise you can divide into 8 or 12 whatever you want now but why I am dividing this into 8 parts or 12 parts because if you see in hexagonal prism we had edges but in this we don't have any edges see I am writing A B C D E F G H so I am writing all these points if you notice circle doesn't have any edges so that's why we are dividing into eight parts so all these parts will help us in construction see this in this we have edges in this there are no edges so we are assuming for all these generators so we are assuming generators and we are drawing it this is x1 y1 so project from e dash Then this is E. Take X, Y to E. From here, see from here you can cut it. So you'll get point E. Same way you project, see this. X, Y to E is done. Then we'll draw D dash F dash. Y to D and from this point C this is D this is D and F now again I'll take F to XY and from here I will cut it down so I'll get point F also Then C dash G dash. This is C and G. So X, Y to C. From here X, Y to C. And X, Y to G. Then extend B and H, X, Y to B, and X, Y to H. then x y to a see this a dash wala line take x y to a and from here you cut a so we got the top portion a b c d e f g h 
right? This is A, this is BH, XY to A, XY to B, XY to H, right? So we got this ellipse shape portion. Now same way for the bottom points also, we can mark all these names P, Q, R, S, T. It is not compulsory to do naming, but it is only for your reference. So then it becomes easier to transfer. Initially, if you are doing it, then it becomes easier. Otherwise, without naming it, at times it becomes confusing. This you can write P dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash, T dash, U dash, V dash, W dash. Mark all these points here. After that, same method, x, y to p. So from here, you cut it down. So you can understand if I am going to do 12 parts, then it will be more work. Of course, you'll get more points. So then it is easier to draw freehand. Now what I'm doing, I'm assuming that b and d are at the same level. So that means same q and s. It will come in the same level like even if you want to take it with the 45 degree set square and you want to just mark it down you can do that also see see you can extend or you take it from here r to x y from r you cut it down then the remaining points like this T, X, Y to T. X, Y to U. U and W will be at the same level, so I can mark it simultaneously xy to w and xy to v so we got the lower part also upper part and lower part now observer is watching it from here so the a b c d part will be dark and the lower part will be dotted but first what we what we should do we should draw extreme boundary so see, I'm drawing extreme boundary first. Then I'm joining this. You can use French curve also. Maybe in next video when I'm going to do circle, that time I will show you how to use French curve. But freehand is also fine. You can improve your freehand. This is A, this is full dark. Why? Because when you see from there, you can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, right? All those points. This lower point you can't see, T point, right? So this entire thing will be dotted. Now the question is how to draw axis line in this. Now I have my understanding that what we are doing we are drawing generators see this so then axis is not important this is o dash m dash om so generators uh -huh. so if i'm drawing om right so i'll be marking it like this if i'm drawing axis then i'm giving preference over generator so that is a confusing thing. See, in this case, axis is behind the edge, right? In this, you can see, but in this, we can't see because generator is overlapping with the axis. So that is a query. So if your teacher is asking you to draw axis line, you draw OM as an axis, or you can show OM as two points. You can show auxiliary top view. Thank you.